All right, so by now, you've probably seen the 73,000 caravan breakdown videos out over on YouTube from various content creators. So I'm a little bit behind this month, so I'm not gonna do that. But what I do wanna talk about is some of the less noticed features from this caravan stream that really showed us that Alpha 2 is getting real close. Like we know Alpha 2 is 2024. We know that Intrepid plans to announce the quarter Alpha 2 is gonna be dropped in this month at the end of the stream. And honestly, it seems like things are really ramping up. But before we get much further into this, so last year myself and a couple other Ashes of Creation content creators such as Rorier, Stakino, Vladis, and Zillin all did an extra live stream to raise money. We all teamed up, we got our communities together to raise money and we had a lot of fun. This year though, I don't have any free time, so I'm not gonna partake in any of the streaming stuff. I did create the Extra Life page. I put a link in the description below, so if you guys wanna donate to my Extra Life page, go for it. It's under the Ashes of Creation team. Just bear in mind that if you donate it, it's just a straight donation to help out the kids. There's no stream coming, there's no perks this year. I'm just kinda throwing it out there. If you wanna donate, go for it. If you don't want to, then don't do it. But I know like Stakino and Vladis are doing extra live streams over on their channel. You can go check those out if you wanna see more of the streaming side of things and have some fun with it. Also, there's obviously the Ashes of Creation one that's dropping this weekend that people can join in and have lots of fun. Um, so link for that will be in the comments in the description. So if, like I said, if you wanna donate, go for it. If you don't, then don't, you know? But beyond that, let's go back to the caravan stream for a minute. So when the caravan stream started out, the very first thing that I noticed was the Ranger and all of its abilities. Maybe kind of teasing an updated Ranger kit's coming soon. We also saw this with the tank in the node stream. We saw a tank with a lot more abilities. So we're really starting to see these classes come together. Beyond that though, if you look, this is the first time really in Ashes of Creation gameplay history that we have seen a character that is level 25. In Alpha 1, I believe the level cap was 15 or 20. I can't quite remember. I think it was 20. I think it was at that end of it. We know Alpha 2's level cap is going to be 35. And throughout all these gameplay showcases, Steven's character level is only been level 15, which, you know, Really, it's Steven, he could set his level to whatever he wants. It's not really saying much, but to me, that's a really big deal because we haven't seen that yet. And it's really starting to show that we're getting close. We are getting closer. If the level cap's increasing, I would assume that the higher end content is increasing. I don't think we're gonna see level 35 cap at the start of Alpha 2, but it is what it is. Beyond that though, that's not the only thing. This caravan stream, gave us a, as you've probably seen, gave us a good rundown of commodity caravans, taking goods from one node to another, keeping it, pulling them out of node store, transporting it, and then getting a higher gold value based off these commodities and based off the need and how much the other nodes have received in the last seven days and so on and so forth. But within that, we saw node to node travel about 30 minutes of slow paced caravan going from one node to another. And this shows many things with it. First of all, it showed us that the world is big. If it's taking 30 minutes for you to take a caravan from one point to another, that is quite a big travel time for an MMO. And this is just a fraction of the Riverlands. There are gonna be, I believe the minimap showed like four nodes on the central and eastern part of the Riverlands to start. And then we imagine there's gonna be some on the western side too. You can actually see on this map that they showed at the very beginning of the stream, you can see the X's. I Pretty sure the X's are where the nodes actually lie. But beyond that though, this is the first time out of all of the Alpha 2 gameplay we've seen, out of all the pre-Alpha 2 gameplay, any time since we've actually seen the actual world outside the Alpha 0 island that we got in Alpha 0 and Alpha 1, this is the first time we've seen really progression throughout the world. It's not just Steven standing in one spot doing a certain objective. This was Steven traveling from point A to point B and you're seeing various spawn types. You're seeing spiders, you're seeing wolves, you're seeing Tumok wandering around on the road. We're seeing rivers and bridges and it's a very good chunk of the map that we can see finally put together. That's really giving me that feeling now that Ashes of Creation is coming along nicely. It's finally being pulled together, which is great. 
because that's what we need. That's what we want to start seeing more of as we continue to head towards Alpha 2. And I know that's been a lot of people have wanted to see that. They want to see more of the exploration side of it. And this really is the first time that I think Intrepid did a good job giving you a bit more of that exploration and seeing various paths with the caravan staying on the road and going through the woods and going back up across the bridge to the river. It really gave you a good sense of the world. Obviously, still work in progress. Steven said they wanted to show the naval transition, but that just wasn't ready to be shown yet. There's still some bugs with it. The nodes, they're both Kalar themed nodes, which was disappointing to me, but I'm sure we'll see more dwarf and elf and orc and eventually Tolnar themed nodes down the road. But overall, though, I think this is a was a very good showcase when it came to showing the world and showing how far that Ashes of Creation has progressed since we really first saw any Alpha 2 like gameplay with the Unreal Engine 5 reveal almost two years ago now. Yeah, it's been two years since we've seen that. It's been it's insane that it's been that long of Alpha 2 showcases leading up to the testing. So we are getting there. Seeing this showcase really got me excited for the next live stream and seeing when that quarter is. My guess would be quarter two or quarter three. I don't think we're going to see alpha two in quarter one. I'd be surprised if we do. There still seems to be some things that need to be tweaked out. There's still a lot of things we haven't seen yet that is said to be going to see, like other node showcases, Bard, Rogue, other updated class kits if Intrepid decides to go that route. We've only seen the Riverlands still, which we might only see the Riverlands up until Alpha 2. We don't really know. Steven hasn't actually said if we're going to have more than the Riverlands at the start of this testing. So it's really interesting to see. But again, I do believe that it's going to be quarter two at the earliest. We're going to have to wait and see on that. But just seeing this showcase really gets me excited because it really shows how far we have come since Alpha 1, how far we've come from Alpha 0, and how close we are to actually stepping foot into the world of Vera once again to play this game. And I no longer have to just turn the launcher on on my computer and hit login just to get a server error message and then cry because I can't actually play Ashes. But yeah, so... Are you excited to see the progress that the Caravan Showcase gave us? Did it really bring that hype back for you? It seems to be bringing the hype back for a lot of people. Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.